My name is Brother Joseph Schmidt. I'm a De La Salle brother, and uh, I'd like to share some th thoughts and reflections with you on the life and spirituality of St. Therese of Lisieux. As you know, she has been called the greatest saint of modern times by a number of popes, and I think she has a great deal to teach us. She's really a gift to the Church for our time. Therese of Lisieux is a great uh, gift to the Church in that uh, the first element that I'd like to discuss is the way that she helped us to understand in a new way the idea of holiness. We all have a sense that we're called to holiness, to, to the love of God, to the love of our, our neighbor, but we usually equate holiness or sanctity with the exceptional. And uh, when we think of holiness or being a saint, we think of something extraordinary, like extraordinary uh, asceticism or extraordinary projects or extraordinary accomplishments, extraordinary prayer practices. And Therese had none of that. In fact, she lived such an ordinary life that when it was first suggested to the Mother Superior that perhaps her her life was that she could be canonized. The Mother Superior said, if you're going to canonize Therese, you're going to have to canonize all of the sisters because she didn't do anything extraordinary. What she, what, what she really did was she did the best she could at each moment trying to do what she felt that God wanted her to do. And that becomes our model in modern times for being a saint. We're all called to be saints, much in the way that St. Paul referred to sanctity and holiness when he spoke of all the members of the mystical body as being saints. It's simply a matter of living up to that, not in a, an exalted way or an exceptional way, but living up to the destiny that we are called to, namely to doing God's will, to living with God's love, sharing that love with others.